Hello, dear students, uh, my dear um, favorite uh, group, uh, 518 A2A1A uh, uh, group, uh, my dear uh, future pharmacists. Okay, today our lesson about the lipids. If you haven't any question about the last lesson about the nucleic acids, I will start to the explanation of new topic, uh, lipids. Okay, what is lipid and about the classification of lipids. Uh, today our topic, uh, the saponifable lipids. What is saponifable lipids? What is lipids? And uh, I will explain all uh, to you, for you. What's lipids? Uh, the biological molecules that are insoluble in water but soluble in non-polar solvents. Lipids have a wide spectrum of the compositions and structures because they are defined in terms of the physical properties, water solubility. Lipids are the waxy, greasy, uh, the oily compound found in plants and animals. Wax counting. Uh, that uh, protect plants uh, used as energy storage, their functions of the lipids, structural components, cell membranes, uh, uh, they have, okay, they have the energy uh, function, they have the structural uh, function, and the insulation against cold. They are biological role of the lipids in our organism. Okay, but about the classification, which classification, which lipids uh, we know? Okay, lipids, we can divide two saponifable lipids. This is our today topic. Uh, they contain esters which can undergo uh, saponification. Uh, it means which can undergo to the hydrolysis under basic conditions. They are waxes, triglycerides, phospholiglycerides, and sphingolipids. But also we have non saponifable lipids. They, they don't contain ester groups and can't be saponified. They are steroids, prostaglandins. Uh, we can uh, relate uh, to the non saponifiable lipids, steroids, terpenoids, uh, uh, our complex lipids. Saponifiable lipids can also be divided into groups. Uh, they are simple lipids, contain two types of the components a fatty acid and alcohol. And complex lipids contain more than two components, fatty acids and alcohol and other components. Okay, we got the classification of lipids. In this slide, you can see some the scheme of the classification of lipids. Okay, lipids are divided to the saponifable and non-saponifable lipids. And saponifable lipids are divided to simple lipids. They are boxes, uh, triglycerides, complex lipids, they are phospholipids, and sphingolipids. About fatty acid, you know that uh, fatty acid this is an important component of all lipids. Which fatty acid we have in our lipids? Again, you know that fatty acid, uh, the long chain carboxylic acids. Uh, what is carboxylic acid? Maybe you know the compounds with the functional group carboxylic group. This is our carboxylic group. Okay, we can write uh, carboxylic acid uh, by this way too. Okay, this is our formula of the carboxylic group. You can see a very long chain. Okay, uh, radical. What is radical? A, uh, this is a radical. This is carboxylic group. Also, uh, I must say you that we have in our lipids just monocarboxylic compound. What is monocarboxylic acid? It means that they contain just one carboxylic group. They are monocarboxylic acids. Okay, this part, uh, radical part, this is non-polar hydrophobic tail. What is non-hydrophobic? Uh, it means they can't uh, dissolve in water. This is an uh, insoluble part of the lipid. Polar hydrophobic heat, this is our carboxylic group, water soluble. It means that in our lipids we have uh, uh, two, uh, both types, uh, polar hydrophobic heat and the non-polar hydrophobic tail. Okay, in this picture also you can see non-polar tail and the polar heat. This is heat. Uh, every time hydrophilic uh, part of the lipid we will name as heat, 
and uh, hydrophobic uh, unsoluble part of the lipid we will name as tail. This is nonpolar tail. Properties of the fatty acids. We told that they are long nonpolar hydrocarbon tails of fatty acids that are responsible for most of the fatty or oily characteristics of lipids. And also we uh, must know that the carboxyl uh, group, the carboxylic group COH is hydrophobic under basic conditions such as uh, physiological pH. You know that physiological pH is 7.4. It's like a neutral medium. Carboxylic group, uh, carboxylic uh, group can uh, uh, remove one hydrogen uh, from OH group and uh, uh, can be as ion, carboxylate ion. Uh, so our fatty acid missiles, uh, uh, we must know that in aqua solution, fatty acid associate with each other in spherical clusters called missiles in which the hydrocarbon tails tangle each other up through dispersion forces, leaving a shell of polar carboxylate ions. Our uh, missiles, uh, they are important in the transport of insoluble lipids in the blood and in the actions of SOPs. You know that on base of the fatty acid or base of the lipids, uh, we can form uh, SOPs, different SOPs. About the characteristics of fatty acid, you must remember uh, this slide also, dear my students. They usually have uh, straight chains, uh, no branches, that are about 10 to 20 carbon atoms. Okay, our lipids uh, contain fatty acid where we, ha we have the number of carbon atoms from 10 to 20. They usually have an even number of carbon atoms. Uh, for example, uh, our lipids with 16 number carbon atoms, uh, with uh, 20 carbon atoms, with 18 carbon atoms. It depends uh, on the lipids. The carbon chains may be saturated uh, where uh, we have just single bonds between all carbon atoms. And all uh, unsaturated, what is unsaturated? You know that uh, if uh, between uh, two carbon atoms uh, we have double bond, this is our unsaturated. We have monounsaturated acids, we have polyunsaturated acids. What is monounsaturated? They contain just one double bond. What is polyunsaturated? They are uh, they have this acid, they have uh, more than two uh, double bonds, for example, two, three, four, it depends on the acid. Short fatty acid usually have uh, lower uh, melting points than uh, longer ones. For example, steric acid, uh, where we have 18 carbon atoms, this is a uh, saturated acid, uh, 70. Uh, degree of Celsius, but palmitic acid, where we have just 16 carbon atoms, has 63 degree of the Celsius. This is about the melting point of the acids. About the uh, double, uh, about the cis or the trans configuration, which configuration they have in our lipids? In lipids, uh, they have cis configuration. Again, you know that uh, some uh, compounds, unsaturated compounds, uh, it depends on the um, place of the double bond in our compound. They have cis or the trans configuration. Okay, they have cis configuration. Usually they have cis configuration. But during some chemical process, they can, uh, from, uh, they can transfer to the trans uh, configuration. Both the saturated and unsaturated acids. Uh, we told that uh, cis double bonds in unsaturated fatty acid put uh, an inflexible kink in the carbon chain, uh, preventing the molecules from the packing together as highly and as saturated fatty acids too. Okay, this is our steric acid. You can't see any double bond. It means this is our saturated acid. Oleic acid, which contain just one double bond, and linoleic acid, which contain just two double bonds bonds. They are unsaturated, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated uh, fatty acid. 
about essential fatty acid you know that uh, some uh, fatty acids uh, our organism can synthesize uh, this uh, fatty acid but some uh, fatty acids our organism can't synthesize because uh, we can uh, take these uh, fatty acids uh, from out but, uh, with uh, from the diet okay uh, uh, the, for example, in the body, uh, we can uh, our body can can't synthesize these uh, fatty acids. Okay, these type acids we will name as essential fatty acids. If you remember during the explanation of amino acids, also we have essential amino acids. Uh, and in this case, in lipids, uh, we will talk about the essential fatty acids, uh, which we will take uh, with the uh, diet uh, for our organism. Uh, both are found in plant and uh, fish oils in the body, but which uh, fatty acids are very important? Where we have 18 uh, carbon atoms, for example, they are linoleic acid and linolenic acid, linoleic acid and the linolenic acid. Uh, both are found in plant and the fish oil. In the body they are used uh, to produce uh, hormone-like substance that regulate uh, blood pressure, blood clotting, blood lipid levels is the immune uh, response and inflammatory reactions. What is omega-6? Uh, uh, in this uh, compound, uh, you can see an omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acid. What is omega-6? What is omega-3? Uh, dur during explanation of uh, acids, of organic acid, I told you that uh, we will uh, numeral our acids from the side of carboxylic acid of carboxylic group but if we will uh, say about the nomenclature omega-6 omega-3 we will numeral from the which end not from carboxylic group from methyl group okay methyl carbon of the methyl group will be first carbon atom that we will numeral first carbon atom second third fourth fifth and six you can see near six carbon atom we have our first uh, double bond but what is such uh, omega uh, omega three one two three near such carbon atom we have our double first double bond okay uh, to which uh, side uh, is near our double bond for example to our middle group uh, nearest uh, double bond this is uh, at the six carbon atom because this is omega-6 and this one omega-3 and this is stable you can see some important fatty acids uh, for example meristic acid which uh, contain how many uh, carbon atoms 14 carbon atoms palmitic acid 16 carbon atoms uh, steric acids 18 carbon atoms they are uh, saturated uh, acid fatty acid but, uh, but which monounsaturated uh, fatty acid we know they are palmitoleic acid and oleic acid which contain just one double bond uh, palmitoleic acid uh, contain 16 carbon atoms oleic acid 18 carbon atoms and polyunsaturated acids which contain more than one uh, double bonds for example linoleic acid uh, linolenic acid, arachidonic acid, exapentanoic acid, and docahexanoic acid. And uh, in this graph, you can see uh, the source from which we can uh, take these acids. Uh, this is uh, for you, dear my students at home. Uh, you can try, for example, indicate whether the following fatty acids are saturated or unsaturated. Now you can search which one is saturated or unsaturated, and uh, which of them are solid and which are liquids at room temperature. Okay, the structure of the fats and oils. This is our fats, uh, the simple uh, lipids, uh, which uh, we can uh, undergo to hydrolysis. 
Okay, animal fats and the vegetable oils are esters composed of three molecules of a fatty acid connected to a glycerol molecule producing a structure called a glycerol or a triglycerol, triacylglycerol, uh, which contain glycerol and fatty acids. They can be different fatty, uh, fatty acids, they can be uh, same fatty acid. In this case, uh, we wrote about the glycerol and the stearic acid. Okay, combination of the glycerol with stearic acid will uh, form uh, the ester, which ester glycerol 3 esterate. Esterate. Uh, this is uh, a 3 glycerate. Uh, the fatty acid uh, in our triglyceride molecule are usually, uh, I told that uh, not all the same. Natural triglycerides are often a mixture of many different triglyceride molecules. For example, in this uh, molecule we can see palmitic acid, oleic acid and linoleic acid. The mix of three acids with the glycerol uh, is we can uh, form our fats or the oils. It depends on the acid. Okay, what is fats? Fats, uh, they are triglycerides that are solid at room temperature, usually derived from animals, uh, mostly saturated fatty acids. Uh, maybe you like uh, to uh, eat uh, uh, in each breakfast uh, butter. Butter, this is fats, which have a solid state. And oils, uh, they are triglycerides that are liquids at room temperature, usually derived from plants or fish, mostly unsaturated fatty acids. This is about fats and oils, uh, which comparison, comparison of saturated and unsaturated fatty acid in some foods. For example, unsaturated acids uh, and saturated acids uh, in butter, beef, chicken, a lot of egg, and about the comparison of these acids in soybean, olive, corn, or sunflower, and canola, they are vegetable oils. You can see that in our vegetable oils, uh, we have more unsaturated fatty acid, but saturated fatty acid more than uh, in our animal fats. About the chemical characteristics of fats and the oils. You know that, uh, if uh, we say about the lipids which undergo to hydrolysis, hydrolysis this is a very important uh, property of the fats or the lipids. Uh, hydrolysis of the triglycerides. Uh, triglycerides can be broken apart by uh, water and uh, acid catalyst. This is hydrolysis, or by digestive enzymes called lipases. Okay, lipases this is an enzyme uh, which has uh, of which origin? Protein origin. You can see here uh, triglycerides. During hydrolysis of triglycerides, we can form glycerol and our fatty acids. In this case, palmitic acid, oleic acid, and linoleic acid. Uh, about the soaps, uh, what is soap? Uh, this is our basic uh, hydrolysis under basic uh, condition. Uh, sodium hydroxide produces a hard soap commonly uh, found in bar soap, and, uh, but potassium hydroxide produces a soft soap such as those in shaving creams and the liquid soaps. Uh, these salts uh, combine two solubility characteristics, a long non-polar water and soluble hydrophobic hydrocarbon tail is our non-polar hydrophobic tail, water and soluble, and the polar hydrophobic heat, water soluble. In water, uh, the tails, uh, this part, become tended to leaving the charged heats uh, sticking out into the solution, forming a structure called a missile. Okay, in this uh, structure, you can see our soap missile. Uh, about heterogeneation, you know that some, um, our, if uh, we say about the unsaturated acids, uh, very important, uh, uh, chemical properties of the unsaturated compounds, they are addition 
reactions. What is addition reaction? In this uh, slide, we will say, uh, say about the hydrogenation, is addition of the hydrogen. Okay, in our uh, slide, you can see this uh, reaction. But this reaction uh, will uh, go under the catalyst uh, platinum, nickel, or the some other metals. And this process is used to convert unsaturated vegetable oils, which are liquid at room temperature, to the saturated fats, which are solids at room temperature. Okay, our double bonds, uh, hydrogen will uh, add it, uh, will combine uh, add the, uh, to the carbon atoms near double bonds. Okay, in this part, you can't see any double bond. In this part, just saturated uh, acids, it's just saturated fatty acids. In partially hydrogenated vegetable oils, not all of the double bonds are saturated, allowing the texture of the products uh, to be controlled. In the process, uh, this twists some of the naturally occurring uh, cis double bonds into trans isomers. Okay, usually uh, cis uh, isomer can transfer to the trans isomer but uh, the formation of trans isomer not good because uh, uh, this uh, the formation of trans isomer can influence uh, to our organism is badly why because uh, is um, we have in our literature we have uh, some uh, information uh, about the trans isomer it means that uh, our trans isomers uh, of the lipids uh, can cause uh, some um, the disease for example diabetes cancer and another the examples uh, some reactions of the triglycerides for my dear students this is for your uh, your homework you must write which compounds we will form uh, during these reactions this is a uh, hydration reaction this is our uh, spinification reaction and uh, you must write the uh, products of this reaction this is a hydrogenation yeah, hydration, hydration reaction. About the waxes, uh, what is waxes? Waxes are simple lipids contain a fatty acid. Uh, waxes are related to the simple acids, uh, simple lipids. Simple lipids contain a fatty acid joined to long chain uh, in interval 12, 32 carbon atoms. Uh, alcohols, okay, which uh, acid and which alcohol we have in our vaccines for example palmitic acid portion and myricyl alcohol portion uh, the name of this uh, ester myricyl palmitate found in bees wax and about the uh, uh, in uh, the wax which we can find in the spermacetal oil this is palmitic acid portion cetyl alcohol portion it means ester cetyl palmitate which are found in the spermacetal oil okay this is a structure of the wax long chain fatty acid and long chain alcohol uh, waxes are insoluble in water and not as easily hydrolyzed as fats and oils they often occur in nature as protective coatings on uh, feathers for skin, leaves, and the fruits. Sebum is created by the sebaceous glands of the skin, contains also wax uh, that help to keep skin soft and prevent dehydration. Also, wax are used uh, commercially to make cosmetics, candles, ointments, and the protective polishes. About the phosphoglycerides, phosphoglycerides related to the complex lipids. Okay, the complex lipids that are major component of cell membranes, phosphoglycerides and related compounds are also called phospholipids. Okay, which components they contain? Glycerol, fatty acid, phosphoric acid and amino alcohol. But which amino alcohol they contain? Cholamine, 
uh, this is ethanol amine. What is called amine? This is ethanol amine from the amino alcohols. Maybe remember the uh, structure, the molecules, choline and serine. Se but serine, this is not amino alcohol. This is amino acid. About the lecithin, uh, the phosphoglycerate that contains uh, the amino alcohol, chlorocholine, uh, called lecithins. This is structure of the lecithin. Uh, the fatty acid as the first uh, and the second positions are variable, so they are the number of different possible lecithins. But about the uh, lecithins, uh, because lecithins contain negatively charged oxygen atoms in the phosphate group and positively charged nitrogen atoms in the quaternary ammonium salt group. That end of the molecule is highly hydrophobic, uh, while the rest of the molecule is hydrophobic. This allows the lecithin to act as the emulsifying agent, forms an important structural component of cell membranes, forms missiles, which play a role in the transport of lipids in the bloodstream. Uh, commercially, lecithin extracted from uh, soybeans is used as an emulsifying agent in margarine and candies to provide a smooth texture. About the cephalin, uh, there are also phosphoglycerides that contains uh, the amino alcohols ethanol amine or the serine are uh, called cephalins, but cephalins are found in most cell membranes and are particularly abundant in the brain tissue and they play a role in blood uh, clotting. They also found in blood uh, platelets. platelets. What is sphingolipids? What is sphingolipids? They are complex lipids that contain sphingosin instead of the glycerol. Okay, sphingosin, this is alcohol which contains sphingolipids. And one important type of the sphingolipids, they are sphingomyelins. Okay, uh, sphingolipids contain uh, the alcohol sphingosin, fatty acid, phosphoric acid, and the choline, amino alcohol. Uh, in the sphingomyelins, a choline is attached to sphingosine through a phosphate group along with a single fatty acid attached to the sphingosine uh, nitrogen via an amide linkage. What is amide linkage? Uh, this is our amide linkage. Uh, sphingomyelins are found brain and uh, nerve tissue and in the millions uh, cells that protect nerves. Okay, uh, in our sphingomyelin, this is our sphingomyelin, fatty acid, and the choline. About the glycolipids, glycolipids they are sphingolipids that contain carbohydrates, usually monosaccharides. Uh, my dear student, maybe you know what is monosaccharides, they are carbohydrates, uh, they are carbohydrates which contain just one molecule. They are also referred to as cerebrosids because of their abundance in brain tissue. Okay, this is our cerebrosid uh, which contain uh, sphingosine fatty acid and carbohydrate. But in these uh, compounds, we can't see any phosphoric uh, acid, just sphingosine, fatty acid, and the carbohydrate. They are glycolipids. About the biological membranes, uh, a little uh, that uh, cells are tiny membrane enclosed units uh, of fluid. Prokaryotic cells are found in bacteria and uh, cyanobacteria. They lack a nucleus or the organogens, uh, organelles. Uh, and eukaryotic cells make up the tissues of other organisms. They are more complex cells containing a nucleus and other organ organelles. But about the internal uh, membranes, internal membranes enclose the organelles, creating cellular uh, compartments that is, uh, have uh, separate organization and the functions. But what about the external? The external cell membrane acts as a selective body between the cell and it is environment enclosing uh, the cellular fluid, cytoplasm and the organelles. Okay, so our cellular organelles and about their function. This just for the information for you, my dear students. About the membrane uh, structure, in membrane structure we can see libid B layer. What is B layer? You can see here two layers of lipids. 
uh, this part non-polar tails uh, our radical part and this part they are polar heads they are uh, carboxylic group part soluble uh, uh, soluble in water and insoluble in water parts hydrophilic and the hydrophobic this is also about the membrane structure uh, that, uh, for example, when uh, the membrane is broken, the repulsion between the non-polar portion and water causes the membrane to reform. And okay, the lipid uh, molecules are free to move uh, literally within the Lyle-like dancer on a crowded dancer floor. Okay, so our uh, fluid uh, mosaic model, cholesterol, uh, cell exterior, uh, steplasm, protein, non-polar tails of the phospholipid molecules, uh, polar heats of the phospholipid molecules, lipid B layer, uh, carbohydrates, this is our fluid mosaic uh, model. Okay, dear students, uh, I finished with you uh, today about the superniferal lipids. Have you any question? I think uh, you understood. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me. Thank you, teacher. Okay. And the next uh, lesson, I will ask my uh, questions related to the lipids. And I will send you this presentation, dear students. <laughs>